Hey YouTube, it's Jonathan, and today we're going to be doing this summer peachy glowy makeup. This look is all focused on the Estee Lauder Frosted Apricot Lipstick. This is a metallic peachy lipstick, and metallic lips are on the way back, and I'm super excited about it because matte lipsticks were just never my thing. So I hope you are all excited to see this look. I also wanted to throw out there that I am using the new Lancome Tawny Doll Ultra Cushion, and this is an ultra high coverage long wear cushion foundation. I also did a compare and contrast video on all three forms formulas of the Lancome Taunt You Doll Foundation. They have their original liquid, they have the cream stick, and then they also now have the cushion. So if you're interested in learning about all three and seeing maybe which one is best for you, go ahead and click the card above so you can check out that video. If you haven't noticed, my primer of choice right now is the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. I like to apply this right at the end of my skincare routine and let it soak in so that by the time I'm ready to apply my foundation, it is nice and absorbed. So now onto foundation. Again, I'm using the Lancome Taunt You Doll Ultra Cushion in the shade 140 Neutral. And I'm using the pad that comes with that and I'm just pressing that into the skin. This offers amazing coverage. They say this offers a natural matte finish. I sort of disagree. I think it leaves my skin looking actually pretty luminous even when I set with powder, but I don't mind that. To conceal and brighten today, I'm using my favorite NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla. I'm using that under my eyes, through the T-zone for a little bit of brightening and a little bit under the brows just to raise them a bit. Once I have that nice and blended in, I'm going to set everything with my Too Faced Primed and Poreless Setting Powder. Again, another product I've just been really loving recently. To warm up my skin, I'm going to be using the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronze in 102 Tantric, and I'm taking that over the high planes of my face with a really large fluffy brush. I like to be matchy-matchy, so for blush today, I'm going to be using Ginger Pop from Clinique, and this is a corally sort of blush that's going to match in with the lipstick very well. I like to apply my blush directly to the apples of my cheek and blend upwards towards the bronzer. To amp up that glow, I'm going to be taking the Lancome Glow Subtil Silky Creme Highlighter in the shade Buff Lights 05, and I'm taking that with my fingertips right onto the top of my cheekbones, under my brow, down the nose, Cupid's bow, a little above the brows, and then I'm going to be taking my ring finger and placing a little bit of this right onto the inner corner of my eyes. When I've been in a rush for brows lately, I've been grabbing the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade 2. I love the triangle shaped tip on this for getting my brows on pretty quickly. I can just run this all over my brow, make sure the edges are clean, and then brush through and be done. Keeping the eyes simple with just a coat of my Dark Brown Definicils Mascara and then combing through with a clean spoolie. And now onto lips. Of course, I'm using the Estee Lauder Frosted Apricot Lipstick. This is one of their all-day lipsticks and it is ultra long wearing. I just apply this straight from the bullet and then blend in with my fingertips to make sure the edges aren't too harsh. And then to really play up that metallic lipstick, I am going to be using just a touch of the Lancome highlighter right on the center of the lips. And this is the finished look. I think this highlighted skin and metallic lip combination is so perfect for summer, especially in that peachy apricot shade. But you could totally do this with pink if you prefer, or even a neutral lip if that suits you best. If you enjoyed this look and want to see a few more summer looks, please leave some comments below if you have any suggestions. I'm thinking about doing a celebrity inspired look too. So if you have any suggestions for a specific celebrity you'd like to see, leave Leave that in the comments box below. Down in the description box, I've got a link to every product that I use today, as well as links to my social media. I'm at John John Talks on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please click on my face now to be here every week for my two videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye.